What is up all you crayon eating motherfuckers? I'm RC Styles and I am joined today as usual with uh, my nephew Dova and Dread and I am here. Who was actually here, I was here today. <laughs> well that's pretty cool. I know but we are here today to discuss the PlayStation 5 reveal uh, event that they had on Twitch and YouTube today. And I got some mixed feelings. I don't know about you guys, um, but before we even get into what we feel, let's go ahead and give these guys a chance to look at the reveal trailer, which was showed at the end of the event. And then uh, we'll get into it. Uh, some of you guys have seen the pictures, seen the console and everything else like that. What do y'all think? You're like, uh, what do you think of the console? It won't fit my room, but, it, but it's okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to clash with your feng shui? <laughs> no, it's because uh, all my consoles are black and then just something very light. I kind of feel like it looks like... Like with the wings that come up off of it and everything, I see where they were trying to make it semi different. And the controller, I'll touch on that in a second. But I'm really honest to God, my opinion was it reminded me of an Xbox 360. Yeah, it, it does look like an Xbox 360. Now, Dread, you had a very interesting story when we were playing Rocket League the other night, and you were, I can't remember what you were playing at the time. I know you were having trouble getting Rocket League to go, but um, you had a very, very 
interesting story about why the PlayStation controller looks like a wing. <clears throat> oh, are you talking about, um, uh, are you talking about, what? oh, the, Rip. the spy in the ranks of, uh, oh, basically, Sony. um, yeah, what happened was, uh, somebody was kind of on the inside, uh, of uh, Microsoft and who had knowledge of what was going on with the uh, PlayStation and um, therefore that's what reason basically and everybody's ever always known that no matter what you do there's always going to be stolen ideas from companies with amongst themselves right um, right you know so uh, especially when you're in competition with one another you know trying to put out the next big gen console Oh, yeah, exactly. And, you know, in all realism, Sony is going to have a more superior console only for the reason that it's going to be so highly, um, well, one, the anticipation, and mm -hmm. uh, two, uh, it will have the backwards compatibility, supposedly. We still haven't really found much out about that. Yeah, well, but, they really um, haven't revealed any concrete evidence. Um, I, you know, from my end, I was informed, and we might as well go ahead and get into this right now because I, I said there's going to be um, a little bit of a trickiness involved with the backwards compatibility, but I'll, I want you to go ahead and finish what you were saying, and then I'll dive into that. Oh, okay, well, uh, what, mostly what happened is... Uh, Sony was going to design a wider controller. It's for a, a more superior grip and uh, more comfortability, because I don't know if you know, but right now, the Sony PlayStation 4 uh, PlayStation 4 has a very slim controller. Mm -hmm. And a, a slim controller. It was always meant to be um, what the Xbox One had and uh, took from them, I should say, the uh, the little wing dynamic they got going on with yeah, theirs. Yeah, the whole wing dynamic going on. Yeah. And then the, I believe even the uh, white and black color scheme, which Sony now seems to be saying, "Fuck you, Xbox. We're going to go ahead and keep this anyway." Mm -hmm. Has has taken over, um, and, and maybe that's why it does so much resemble the the uh, 360. Maybe like the copyright standards have finally run out, and that's why they're able to design it that way. I mean, that's my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. Well, I mean, honestly, I, I believe that it looks cleaner. It, it looks like a cleaner system. It's more smooth. You know, right. it, you, when, you, when you get the impression of a white system, it looks like it's going to be in a more sleek. It makes it a uh, more streamlined versus a big old blocky black freaking hunk of plastic sitting on your center console. Being, or your, uh, not your center console, but uh, you catch my drift. Right. Where you, your game station is going to be like the newer system is always like your mantelpiece, you know, where the other ones might be staggered just slightly underneath or right next to it, or like you know either side. Now, I did that all the time, man. My newer console was always in the middle, and then I had like that the last gen to the right or you know to the left, whichever. <clears throat> But uh, another thing that we were talking about just briefly ago was uh, the backwards compatibility. And I, I said that based off what I know, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, yeah, it is going to be backwards compatible in the respects that we've kind of already seen backwards compatibility with the next-gen consoles. Uh, with the digital library and everything... Um, you're supposed to basically anything that you bought for the PlayStation 3, anything that you bought for the PlayStation 4 is going to still remain in your library. And what uh, PlayStation is offering is not only a console, uh, the standard PlayStation 5 is going to have your disk drive. 
and there's going to be a digital version of the PlayStation 5, which there's going to be no disk drive. And part of that is, is like I've said before, they're trying to move into like a no, uh, a, I guess what would it be, additional media? Would that be considered? Like um, they're oh. doing away with the drive? Th that would actually be... Yeah, yeah, would be a good way of uh, describing it. Um, thing is, is I think that is a detriment to systems, because one thing that'll never fail you is a disc. I get you. Yeah. I mean, unless it's, um, like, scratched up beyond all recognition, uh, but let's face it, any respectable but, gamer is going to take care of their shit. Exactly. Like, that's what I was about ready to say, is that in all realism, a disc won't fail you as long as you're not a neglected fool. You know? Right. Um, but, uh, I think that that is a bad thing. Right. So, I, I think that them getting rid of the disc drive would be a very stupid thing for them to do. I mean, uh, in my opinion, I can see where they're going, you know, trying to keep up with the times and keep everything evolving and everything. But I, I agree with you because there's always that one possibility that a network could fail. You suddenly just lost access to your library of digital media, but yet if you have the discs, you're going to be able to have that backup. You know what I mean? Um, um, go at ahead. At the same time, another thing that irritates me is the reason why they're giving it when they do away with the disk drive. Remember that that, that epidemic problem that was going on with the um, and this is just a concern for you know for gamers, Sony. So don't take this as as me, you know, track talk, trash talking your system. This is me placing a healthy concern, being a Sony lover. Um, this is me placing a, a healthy concern on something that I think you guys may be doing wrong. So basically, like user feedback. For a while, nothing with, wrong with constructive criticism. With the older gen play, PlayStation 4s, the the early PS4 Pros, and the and the really early gen PS4 when it first came out, was coming was we had a lot of problems with the hard drives. So when we had uh, when we had uh, digital copy games, it, until they made a backup, because I, I don't know if you guys remember way back when, but they didn't have a backup cloud. Right. Uh, for the first, like, six months of, of them having their system out, they didn't have a backup cloud for your games. So they weren't stored. So if I bought a game, and for whatever reason my system decided to fail and wipe all of its memory I just lost 60 to 80 dollars on a game release that I just bought right I follow you there and with that being said a total backwards compatibility is more ideal than just the rumored digital backwards compatibility um, I, again I have to agree with you um, Another thing that I've said over time and time again, that uh, fat system versus thin system, and to me, what they're showing here already is that I, I felt more like it was a fat system versus slim system reveal, you know, and the fact that the, the digital console doesn't offer the ROM drive, the CD-ROM drive at all. So to me, that's they're not just going to have all that extra space. They're going to slim it down somewhere. Um, and then you bring up the fact that the standard edition is supposed to be a one terabyte hard drive versus the digital system having a two terabyte hard, a two terabyte hard drive. And okay, so I still say they have to slim it down somewhere because the I don't see how a hard drive is going to take the place of a ROM drive, if that makes any sense. It won't. See, that makes a whole buttload of no sense because, uh, like I said, it's it's just it seems like it's going backwards. Uh, they should have if if they were if they felt so keen 
on, uh, felt so keen on, um, taking away the disk drive. They should have also allowed it to where you have the option per system. Now, say if you ordered a system, they, you could include that drive. Now, see, I, like I said, I, I just, I don't see that idea being a good one. Because, you know, in the end, a, a disc is always going to be the, the foolproof plan. Uh, Chris Seven, real quick, just asked, can I play on the game online with my friends? I, um, as far as PlayStation 5 is concerned, yes, you will be able to play your games online with your friends. Yes, there's going to be complete, uh, complete online. Uh, I mean, it's going to be the same as every system. Um, there are rumors uh, that it will be cross compatible. It'll be there will be a lot of games that have cross play. Now, whether or not uh, Microsoft is in on that. Um, I don't know. Well, let's let's be honest here. I, I think it's safe to say we're all still in pretty virgin territory when it comes to cross-play games. Um, you, you look at the list and everything, and yeah, that not all of the systems are supported for every single game. So I think there's still a lot to work out in, in those. Uh, I, I do think that... I, I do think that... Um, they're going to continue developing crossplay in the PlayStation 5 generation. So let's look at some of the specs real quick. Uh, we're looking at the PlayStation 5 having a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. So where over the years um, we've been able to have like put it throw a disc in the disc drive and it had to be like a DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, they're going to offer up to the uh, uh, 4K Ultra. Uh, you know, that's to be expected. You know, try, again, trying to keep up with the times. We're going to have a ultra high speed SSD drive. Um, I don't know, man. I kind of like the fatter drives. They seem to perform well or uh, well or better. <laughs> um. You know, I know why they're doing this, because there's always been problems with cooling and stuff in the past. Uh, it looks like Dread lagged out. But, um... You know, I mean, this is one of those things I'm just going to have to remain to wait and see how that's going to play out. Uh, next thing is ray tracing. Uh, like, these next two things coming up, I I'm not entirely familiar with what they're talking about. So I may just have to skip over them unless one of you guys know what they're talking about. Uh, ray tracing. The what? Ray tracing. Uh, I'm saying the what as in I don't know what it is. Ray. And the next thing is haptic feedback. I, I think we're getting it. When, when we're talking about haptic feedback, I think they're talking about the controller at this point. Um, like having like real-time um, console to controller feedback between the two. I mean, yeah, that's just... Go ahead. That's difficult. That's going to be difficult. For haptic feedback, and I do believe that we are um, referring to the controller in this one. Damn. Uh, back to the back to the backtrack compatibility real quick, if that's okay. If yeah, go right ahead. Go right ahead. ahead. Um, the the uh, Xbox 360 and the Xbox One do have backtrack compatible capabilities at for certain games. Like um, an example for the Xbox 360, you can run the original Star Wars Battlefront on the original Xbox. I think they tried and to do that. I think they tried doing that with uh, I believe PlayStation 3 uh, trying to do. PlayStation 2 backwards compatibility, but I believe that even there it was a very limited library. Uh, one of which games was actually, uh, I believe, Double Seven Goldeneye. Uh, oh, so uh, he just liked it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
that's what I thought. He should be rejoining us here in a moment. Um, and we can always go back and talk about some of these things that I'm going to talk about. Uh, so we just sat down. I believe we got off on a little bit with uh, haptic feedback. And then now there's going to be adaptive triggers. Now, I don't know if that means, like, you can take out those triggers and, like, make them more comfortable to your playing style or what exactly that means. Maybe they're not so resistant. Maybe they're a little more resistant. Maybe you can adjust them. It really didn't say much about that. I think, the, uh, I think that means, like, over time it can still become easier to use, but they won't wear out, like, uh, a few PlayStation 4 controllers we're having problems with. First gen specifically, I've heard. So maybe you're using some kind of, like, memory material to where, like, it, it 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 gets you to your play style. You know what I mean? You're not gonna yeah. fucking blow buttons fast. That'd be interesting. Uh, the controller now. This this is quite interesting. The controller is going to have a USB port as well as the system. Think about that for a minute. What's the purpose of having a USB port on the controller? A USB port on the system, I mean, it makes sense to me, especially because I, I tend to watch uh, movies off of my uh, PlayStation from a flash drive or TV shows. I, I can't really see the purpose of a flash, I mean a USB drive on on the um, controller, unless they're talking about the receiving end like you have with the PS4 where it's going to hook into a USB. So I kind of think that that's where they're going with that as far as it's still going to have that USB chargeability even if you're not charging it from the station. We're going to have uh, motion sensors. I mean, we kind of have that with the PlayStation 4 as it is. Uh, Built-in mic and integrated speaker. Well, we already have the integrated speaker, but a mic in the controller, I think we've all kind of wanted that, especially when our headsets haven't been working right. <clears throat> what do you think, Dev? I guess Dev went to the bathroom. Uh, anyway, a headset jack. Uh, I mean, that's great and everything. Uh, and then 3D audio. 3D audio is basically like surround sound without having surround sound. That is a pretty interesting concept to me. Um, I always love audio, you know, especially being able to... Holy hell! I know, I, I kind of yelled. Sorry. <laughs> so, we, we were just talking about built-in mic and yeah, integrated speaker. I mean, we already have the speaker, but the mic, I think, is something everybody has wanted. Yeah, as I was trying to say earlier, um, I think that the... Uh, built-in mic would get annoying to the other party members if somebody's using that because you could uh, you could most likely hear people pressing the buttons or something on the controller itself. I yeah. got you there. I'd, I'd think that they would add the USB, like, uh, I'd think that they'd call that the micro USB. Uh, you know, that's what I'm thinking Thinking that they're doing too, the micro USB to where it's going to be able to plug into an actual uh, yeah. USB 3.0 and help charge your controller. But uh, I think that they are going to use a normal USB as well, so that, like, uh, that spot next to the, uh, next to where you plug in your headset, that spot, that would be replaced by a... Uh, USB itself, so right. that you could plug in a charger to your controller and, like, say you're so far away from your console to where you can't plug it in to the console itself. So, right. like, if your friend is sitting next to you with his controller, or whatever, he can't charge his controller off the console, so you could just plug it into, you could plug a charger into your controller and charge his controller off yours. 
Oh, wow, that's an interesting thought. Very yeah. interesting thought. Yeah, it would be very cool. Yeah. The fact that they only have one USB, though, is the... The consoles, anyway. I don't... I don't think that's smart. I... I'd say that, uh, it'd be smart to have a USB in the back, so... People with external hard drives could keep using them. Right, right. And also be able to charge their controller at the same time.